What's going on? So I just wanted to do a quick follow-up video about the good old HP Spectre and how I use it in Photoshop. Now, I've had the thing for quite a while now. I'm still super happy with it. It works really, really well. And having this is what makes it. So what makes this thing so good is this. When it comes to editing pictures and stuff in Photoshop, this thing is great. As you can see, there are buttons on it. So to get this set up for Photoshop, at least the way that I have it set up, don't click this one, the Windows Ink Workspace. It takes you to something completely unrelated. What you want to do is go to the HP pin control. And when you open that up, you'll be able to set what each button does. I have mine set, well, the top one I never use, but the bottom one is set as an Alt key. Now I have the Alt key set up because if you're doing stuff like, um, like highlighting, for instance, I'll do this like, uh, I use this all the time, the quick select, makes highlighting stuff, su or uh, selecting stuff super, super, super easy. You go through and you start selecting, like if I'm gonna select the car, this is my, my old Mustang, rest in peace. Like that. But see how the ground down here is all selected and, well, we don't want that. So if you hold the button, oh, there it goes. See how it changed to a little minus? But if you go through holding the button, you can take all that out. It just makes doing stuff like that really, really easy. And you can make the, uh, the circle different sizes. So if you shrink it way, way, way down, you can use the touch screen and your fingers to zoom in, move it around, do whatever you need to do, and you can get in and really, really, really get detailed when it comes to making selections. The pen also makes the clone stamp really, really easy to use because you can get very, very precise with it. So if you do like this tree up here, for instance, say I want to clone stamp that tree. Again, I have it set as Alt. Alt is the select button for the clone stamp. So if you hold Alt to pick what you want to clone stamp, you can go out and make another tree. It's another reason why I have Alt set as the button on here, but that's really as easy as it is. You just go in and make that button Alt and you're kind of ready to roll in Photoshop mode. I mean, this thing, it, it's great. Being able to take this and, and resize stuff, you can even turn stuff around sometimes. It's kind of tricky. There we go. Uh, completely move stuff around and get stuff however you want it. Get everything all laid out and set up so you can do what you want to do with it and then go in with the pin and get the really, really high precision stuff going. It, it's really, really good. Uh, the screen itself is good. I, as far as color accuracy goes, I'll put it on the screen somewhere what the uh, actual color accuracy numbers are because I'm not real sure offhand. But it gets the job done. I still have this really janky um, screen protector on it so I know it looks kind of like shit because it's a shit screen protector, but I wanted something on there because as you're touching and drawing and everything on it, I don't want to scratch the screen all up. So I had to put something on. Anything with a touch screen gets a screen protector. Always, always, always. But yeah, overall, uh, super happy with the thing. Couldn't recommend it more when it comes to um, photo editing or I've even done light video editing on it before. Uh, Premiere works on it. It's um, actually even a little bit better than I expected it to be, to tell you the truth, because it doesn't have the most powerful CPU ever, but I have found that that doesn't matter as much as you may think. As long as you have enough RAM and you have really, really fast storage, which this does, it has a 512 gig NVMe SSD, as long as you have enough RAM and fast storage, it can do 4K. Um, you're not going to be doing all kinds of crazy color correction and, you know, a million cuts and 14 different audio tracks and all that kind of shit. But it will edit 4K without too much trouble. I don't even have to create proxies on it. Meanwhile, on my desktop with a overclock 2600K, I have to create proxies because the storage that I run on it, just like old spinning hard drives, are so freaking slow, it can't, it can't do it. It can't pull the data off fast enough to scrub and to, to edit smoothly. It'll work, but it's just a herky-jerky mess. So yeah, questions, comments, leave them down below. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, and all that happy horse shit. Later.